Hey chickies, here at Oh My Gosh Polish, mistakes will be made. As per usual, it'll be loads of fun, so subscribe now. <laughs> now let's get into today's so much fun nail art. We're doing pastel rainbows because pastels make us feel happy. <laughs> I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So the pastels that I'm using today are all from Colour Club. And yes, unlike the 84 polishes that I showed you last time, you can get these still. These these came out, I think, either last year or the year before. I think it was last year. Anyway, you can still get them. HB Beauty Bar is selling them in a set or you can buy them individually. And I'm sure that there are lots of other stores that you can buy them from as well. So yay, I felt so bad about the 84 one because, you know, that's just unfair. But these ones are really good too. So woohoo! Now I'm starting off with a white base on all of my nails except for on my ring, my, my ring finger, my index nail. It's still going to have white on it but uh, I wanted to paint it in front of you. The other ones I just painted normally. Uh, the white I'm using today is Ollie's French tip and as you can see I'm just painting the very tip of my nail or about, or it's basically half of my nail white and the reason for that will become apparent later on. So whilst we're waiting for the index nail to dry, we're going to move on to the ring fingernail and we're going to paint some little rainbows. And they're very, very tiny. So yes, you're going to need a teeny tiny paintbrush for this. Now I heard, and I can't remember who told me, but I will find out and I'll put it in the description box down below. Uh, someone told me that Robin Moses sells really fine paintbrushes. So I'll chase down a link for you and put it down below. And also thank you to whoever it was who told me about that. I, I can't remember who it was. Anyway, so these six colors from Color Club are all neon pastel colors. They are so pretty. And we're going to do four teeny tiny little rainbows. Now, each of the rainbows are only using four to five colors because they're so tiny. I couldn't fit all six in uh, each rainbow. So we're doing two different styles of little rainbows on my nails. Now don't be too concerned about how neat it is because what we do next to the rainbows after this is what brings it to life. Trust me. <laughs>
Now once you've finished your rainbows you want to leave them alone to completely dry and we'll come back to those later. Now we're moving on to the middle nail and we're basically going to do just some dots in rainbow, rainbow coloured dots basically uh, and we're, I'm doing that diagonally you can do it horizontally you can do it vertically you can do it not at all it's up to you really but we're doing each nail in stages except for this one because it's just a really quick and easy dotting tool and whatnot it's very easy nothing more to do after we've after you finish the dots on this one So now we're coming back onto the index nail and we're going to come back in with another coat of white and while that white is still wet we're going to come in with a small dotting tool and add a rainbow of dots on the very tip of this nail. It's really important that you have all of your dots or you you put your, your uh, what is it, spots, dots. What is that, like an eyedropper? A drop. <laughs> It's very important that you have all of your drops of polish out on a piece of paper or on a surface before starting this because you want everything to be wet because we're going to work with it wet. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Now if you believe that, you'll believe anything. <laughs> Now my next crazy plan is to come in with Sally Hansen's Invisible, which is just a thin white, a uh, white, thin clear polish, and we're going to smudge those dots down towards the tip of the nail. I'm making this up as I go along. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, <laughs> most people will think this is crazy and stupid, and they won't want to do it. But trust me, it looks really cool in the end. Now once we've done that we're going to come in with my cleanup brush and some non-acetone remover and we're going to straighten up that line and give it a nice neat finish. That's the plan anyway. Now this process may, may take a little bit of time but it is worth it in the end, trust me again, there I go. But it is, I think, well I think it is anyway because I really love how it turned out. Shock horror. <laughs> now once you've done that you want to leave that again to dry and we'll be coming back to that one again later on. We're going to move over to the pinky nail and we're going to do a dry brush which is basically just taking all, almost all of the polish off the brush and then just sploshing it onto your nail. You, you should end up with virtually no polish on your nail. It's almost pointless, <laughs> but not at the same time, because when you build up your colors, you'll see that it actually looks really cool. I love this method. And now it's time to come back to the ring finger nail and to the rainbows and we're going to use some black acrylic craft paint and a fine detail brush and we're going to very carefully outline the top of each rainbow and you wait until you see what this looks like. I love it so much. You have no idea it makes the rainbow stand out. It really gives them life, I think. Let me know if you agree. It's fine if you don't. I'm not, I won't be offended, I promise, but I loved it. Now, the pressure of doing these fine lines on these rainbows was too much for me, so I only did two. I'm sorry. So I basically did the other two off camera because the pressure was just too great. <laughs> now let's come back to the index nail and again with black acrylic craft paint and we're just going to paint a couple of lines near the, near, you know, where the white starts. It just, it just needed something extra and with the black I think it looks really cool. Again, feel free to disagree. <laughs> it's fine, I won't be offended, I promise.
Oh, and I forgot to mention I'm using the fine detail brush from Ocean Nail Supply called Presto Art 11. Again, I will put a link in the description box down below so you can go and check it out. Now of course once everything is completely dry you want to go ahead and seal it all in with your favourite top coat. Of course I am using Sesh Feet as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. Now I want to say also the index nail design with that half uh, French tip basically is inspired by Nina Park from Nina Nailed It. Uh, she's an amazing nail artist. I love her work. It's always interesting and different and cool and I love it. I have some things from her to show you in the next couple of days so I really hope you stick around for that. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. I chickies. I want to thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. I want don't forget to go and watch my previous video and you know subscribe because it's free. I'm going now. Bye.